we bought this because we were tired of driving that. I'm Brian, a private pilot based in northern Indiana. Twelve years ago, I bought into a 1979 Piper Cherokee 6, and it's changed my family's life. I'll tell you why, how I did it, and why the Cherokee 6 was the right plane for our mission. On this episode of 6-0 Alpha... This is something we've done for about 25 years now, ever since we left home. Um, and it used to be about a six and a half, seven hour drive one way in our minivan. And one day I woke up and said, hey, I have a pilot's license. There's no reason why we should be driving six and a half hours one way, four to five times a year. I went and got my complex and high performance endorsement and then went plane shopping. But where to begin? I focused on my primary mission, hauling my family places. So a good useful load, speed, endurance, and roominess were priorities. And to maximize opportunities, it needed to be IFR capable. And that left just a few choices. And so we, we just kept coming back and landing landing on the Cherokee 6 and uh, happened to find one on our home field. The owner was a partial share, was looking to get out. And it's a late model, it's a 79, the last year they made them, they, they called them the Saratoga after that. And we love it, it's, uh, it's been good to us. For us, it was all about balancing the primary mission versus cost. And useful load of 1,375 pounds, including up to 100 pounds each in the rear and nose baggage compartments. 94 gallons of fuel at a 15 gallon per hour burn rate and averaging 140 knots true airspeed gave us roughly a six hour range in any direction, meaning the Cherokee 6 is essentially a minivan with wings. It's a big plane and a very capable IFR platform that's easy to fly, hauls a ton, but won't break the bank. The fixed gear and simple airframe design mean it's cheaper to insure, cheaper and easier to maintain, and doesn't burn a ton of gas. And so, you know, I started running the numbers in order, you know, to buy it, and then the, you know, the cost per hour to operate, which is, uh, you know, your insurance, your fixed cost, your insurance, your annual fuel burn per hour, all that. You know, it, it comes in right at 185 an hour or so to operate all in. Um, it hit the sweet spot in terms of balancing speed and efficiency and cost and meeting our needs. Um, we could have gone with the retract and gained about 15 to 20 knots, but you know, insurance costs double, um, maintenance costs go up 30% uh, or so, um, more things to break. Um, it's not fancy, the original interior. Uh, the paint was done in 98, it still looks pretty good, but uh, you know, pretty simple uh, steam gauges with the 430 and upgraded, upgraded uh, to the ADSP a couple years ago to, to be compliant with that. Other than that, we're good. You know, we could go with a glass panel and, you know, leather interior and all that, but um, honestly, with the amount of money that would cost, you'd never recoup it in the, in the sale and the value of this plane. So I'm not ashamed. It, it serves its purpose. Um, mechanically, it's sound. Uh, the engine's got about 50% of its life left, and this thing just sips gas. You know, here we are, 15 gallons per hour at six gallon, you know, six bucks per gallon. You know, that's, that's pretty good. And now uh, with a two and a half hour flight, the airport's five minutes from my parents' house. Uh, they pick us up and we, we gain a half a day on either side of our vacation. Um, so it's more than paid for itself in the amount of time. Now I won't say it's any cheaper. <laughs> and my wife will remind me of that. <laughs> but it sure is a hell of a lot more fun, much better view. Then we started to branch out 
weekend getaways to Cedar Point, Mackinac Island, New Orleans, Florida a gazillion times, and the most epic family road trip summer vacation ever, Epic Trek 2021. We saw and experienced the American West as few families can and made a lifetime of memories. Uh, November 816 are off. We've got a request. The 6 are off. Go ahead. We want to fly the uh, what they call the arch tour, right? So if we can go to Troy and then actually fly along the river, uh, past the arch, and then uh, turn to uh, roughly 270 to, to head to Spirit then. Number 6 are off. Of that sounds good to me. Uh, if, you, if you'd like, you can head toward the river now. You don't have to do Troy unless you want to do that for training. Negative. Uh, we, we can... Uh, Head direct for the arch now, and uh, any chance we can get any lower, 6 or Alpha? Or 6 or Alpha, sure. Maintain VFR uh, at or below 3,000 right now, and you can uh, uh, you can have any altitude you want if you're VFR going over there. Okay, uh, sounds good. So we're down to 3,000 now uh, for 6 or Alpha. Really appreciate the help. Thanks. For 6 or Alpha, no problem. And as you get a little bit closer, I'll uh, tell downtown that you're going through there, and I'll let you know when you're cleared through their delta. Sounds good. Thank you, 6 or Alpha. Number six, you're off. You're cleared through the Delta of Family's downtown airport. Hey, from uh, six, you're off. Cleared through the downtown Delta. Really appreciate the help today, six, you're off. Six, you're off. No problem. Change to my frequency, 123.7. Over to 123.7, six, you're off. Pretty busy airspace. Uh, as you might imagine, there's an airport. Uh, the arch is actually in that airport's uh, um, airspace. Uh, plus, you got the St. Louis Bravo. Number four, for Charlie Ritter, contact eight miles north. And if that wasn't North enough, um, you've also got uh, got Air Force Base over here with uh, military jets occasionally buzzing about. Regardless of time and cost, you can't get views of your hometown like this from the highway. Seven Yankee turn left heading two four zero. Clear jet three thirty four. CFR traffic two o'clock. About a mile and a half southwest sign indicating two thousand four hundred. If you'd like to climb a little bit, that's fine. Here it comes. Here five sixteen. Contact Kansas City Center one two seven point four seven. One two seven point four for care five sixteen. Twenty seven forty seven. Twenty seven forty seven for care five sixteen. Jet 334, traffic, snow factor. Spirit Jet 334, the airport's 1 o'clock, 8 miles. Spirit Jet 334, clear the deferred turn at 8 right, contact tower 124.75. How's that? I got like 600 pictures, so hopefully one of them's good. Number six, you're out. But after you pass the arch, uh, don't go further north than a 260 heading, please. All right, uh, 260 on the heading six, you're out. Yankee right, you can proceed direct to Cardinal and depart that 230. Close of course, 27, uh, climbing to 2500, uh, heading uh, to the Troy VOR. Billiton 27, Roger, let me get a squad for you. Alpha, you can resume on navigation to uh, Spirit. Contact them, 124.75. All right, uh, direct Spirit now and over to Spirit. Tower 124.75. We'll see you next time. Thanks, 6 Alpha. 
Air Tower Cherokee 8160 Alpha is with you about eight and a half to the uh, southeast, 3000 with Alpha, full stop, going to signature. November 8160 Alpha Spirit Tower, right to continue right downwind for runway eight right. Right downwind, runway eight right, six are up. Spirit Tower, sir, say one, two, whiskey, whiskey, hauling short Charlie, right for departure eight right. Traffic to follow Lance Air, two mile final, 1,600. How will he looking, six or alpha? November 5, Romeo Sierra, when able, squawk VFR. That's undercarriage mixture. Where is he, where is he, where is he? Coming in out here. And November 6, zero alpha, that traffic to follow now, ahead and to your right, one mile, 1,100. Still looking, 6 0 Alpha. 6 0 Alpha, Roger. See him down when I call your base. I'm waiting on you on the base, 6 0 Alpha. Oh, got him. There he is. Got a visual on the landing traffic, 6 0 Alpha. 6 0 Alpha, Roger. Base turn to follow that traffic, number 2, runway 8 right, clear to land. Base turn uh, following the Lance, uh, number 2, 8 right, clear to land, 6 0 Alpha. Okay, we're looking at 6 0 Alpha. November 5, Romeo Sierra, runway 8 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 8 left, 305, Romeo Sierra. He called me uh, number 2, that guy's down, so I can go now. Way too high. Nine, nine, echo, echo, say park. Uh, let me go back to Wings of Hope, please, Matt Eric. That's 9, echo, echo, Roger Fable, turn left, uh, Alpha 6, and contact ground point 7. Clear six kilo pop number two runway eight right clear to land. Land eight right six kilo pop. Gas undercarriage mixture prop switches. Signature. We're in six zero alpha. Roger, favor turn right to alpha six reverse high speed and taxi the uh, signature via alpha this frequency. Uh, left here at alpha six. And then uh, right on alpha to signature six zero alpha. Cap 2307, looking to verify we're uh, clear to land on 8 right. Cap 2307, affirmative, runway 8 right, clear to land. That was fun. Hopefully the wing cam got that. <laughs> Welcome home. See ya. Okay. Um, is it possible that they can bring the car out here so we can get all the luggage and everything in the car? Do you have a car valet? His car. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Do me a favor. Hit that like button, leave a comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Click that subscribe button, tell all your friends. Thanks for riding along, we'll see you next time.